Arturo, Executive Vice President here at Safety Enterprises LLC. Today we're going to do another video in our informational video series. We're going to talk about disassembly and maintenance of the 1911 semi-automatic pistol. This particular model has a full-length guide rods. Keep in mind that if yours does not, the disassembly will vary from what you see here today. First thing we're going to do is remove the magazine. Make sure it's unloaded. Visually inspect the chamber and magazine well to make sure that the firearm is unloaded. Pulling back on the slide and depressing the slide stop will allow the slide to go forward. You're then going to engage the slide stop safety towards the rear of the gun. Using an Allen wrench that came with your firearm, if it has a full-length guide rod, insert the Allen wrench in the guide rod and unscrew counterclockwise. As it unscrews, you will see it rise from the muzzle of the firearm. A certain point, you will be able to slide it from the guide rod assembly. Using a bushing tool or a regular flathead screwdriver, uh, you're going to depress the guide rod plunger and turn the bushing counterclockwise until it is about halfway uh, between, the, between the plunger. Using a flat tool, you're going to put, depress the plunger and with your hand, turn it counterclockwise until it clears the plunger, easing up as the spring is, it is under spring pressure. Remove the plunger and remove the recoil spring. Take the bushing clockwise as far as it will go and it will lift from the firearm. At this point, you're going to disengage the slide stop safety and push the slide to the rear until the stop uh, is lined up with the first notch here on the slide that you see. Uh, you will then push out here and your slide stop will remove from the frame and slide of the firearm. Once that's removed, the slide comes forward and you can remove the guide rod assembly and barrel. Uh, keep in mind some, some models require that the barrel link be pushed forward, others require that it be pushed back. This particular model does require that the barrel link be pushed back to clear the slide. Uh, now that this is disassembled, the next thing you're going to do on the slide is remove your firing pin and extractor. Uh, so taking a 3 8 punch, you're going to push in on the firing pin right there, and at the same time apply downward force. With your opposite hand, you're going to put your thumb over as the firing pin will shoot out from its uh, assembly. Now that that's removed, you can push pull this out, remove the spring from the firing pin, wipe those down, lubricate them as needed. Uh, to remove the extractor, you're going to take your same punch, and there is a groove that's aligned right here on the slide. You'll push, you'll put your punch in there and push up, and you will see that the extractor is moving out. There's a little bit of a click there. Once that click is cleared, you can use your hand and pull this out. Wipe this down, uh, lubricate it as necessary. Uh, from here, your slide's pretty much as uh, disassembled as it will be. The only thing you can do after that is changing the sights. Uh, in terms of the frame, we recommend that unless you're a qualified gunsmith or you've had experience disassembling these firearms, do not go any further than this. Uh, you can, if you choose, remove these two screws on both sides and change the grips. Uh, however, any other work in that, you're ex accessing mainspring housing, trigger assembly, uh, those require knowledge of what you're doing. Uh, for reassembly, you are going to put your uh, extractor back in, the flat side lined up with the groove in the slide. Once that is pushed in, you will notice that the groove here is lined up as well. So you can put your firing pin spring back on your firing pin, the flat side or the non-cut side in. Once that is in, you can reinsert it into its track. Using your punch, you're going to put downward pressure on the firing pin and reinsert your firing pin block. Once that's in there far enough, you can just push in and you see it's now back in place. Uh, after you've cleaned the barrel, barrel link back depending on your model, slide that back in. Your recoiled uh, guide rod assembly will go there and your recoil spring will slide in from the front helping to keep everything in place. While the frame is on the table, you or the slides on the table, pardon me, you will take the frame, slide it in the grooves, 
and line it up. You will then flip the firearm over, and if you look through the slide stop assembly hole, you'll see that the barrel link is makes a clear path. You will then push your slide stop through the hole, and sliding the slide back to the first notch that you lined it up with when you took it apart. You will then push up and in at the same time to, to uh, clear your safety assembly. Push forward all the way, slide the slide forward, and re-engage your slide stop safety. Next, you're going to insert your bushing, starting it on the left side of the firearm, and clear it counterclockwise until it is now on the right side. Take your guide rod plunger, push down using your tool, and with your hand, again, clockwise until you are halfway lined up. Use your bushing tool and push it until it is in the middle and it is fully aligned. Then you can take your guide rod, replace it, and with your Allen wrench, clockwise, tighten your guide rod, finger tight. There. All right. Uh, Reinstate your magazine if it's unloaded. Disengage your slide lock safety, and your firearm is now reassembled. Uh, if you'd like more information, you can check out our website at safetyenterprisesllc.com or visit our Facebook page at safetyenterprisesllc.